Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at a tiny update that has been done to Substance Alchemist. So Substance Alchemist is an amazing tool which you can use for material creation and it's pretty cool to see that the guys at NVIDIA are working hand in hand alongside with the guys from Adobe. And this update is very interesting to see that right now you can now create your materials by just simply using images. And to explain that, or to further explain this, I'm simply going to get a pebble, which we have downloaded from an amazing website. Now I'm gonna also put a link in the description. So in case you want to download this, you can go to textures, 3D textures of me and grab a copy of this. So with this said, once you simply drag in this pebble and drop it right here, automatically it's going to ask you if you want to create a material now you would notice that this is an ai powered material creation tool which actually creates material really really quick and you also notice that right here you can select if you want to work with the ai powered material or if you just want to work with a bitmap tool material so by simply clicking this you can go ahead and click on ok and with that done what would happen is the ai powered uh, thingy would actually calculate this material and with the algorithm it's going to create a material directly here and it's very interesting to see that once you switch from here you can see the normals you can see the roughness you can see the metallicness if there was one you can also see the height and the ambient as well most interesting of all is the idea behind how they you know sort of wrap this thing so they just simply find a way to create a seamless material for you now with this here you can also easily so let's just simply take that out you can also easily play with the normal so if you actually don't like the normals the way they are you can go ahead and dial it down that's a little bit too low so you can dial it down just a little bit and you can also choose to play with the details if this is also something that you're looking for and for for the most part there is an equalizer here which you can use to equalize this normal. This is not the only uh, feature that is now available. Of course, we already talked about how you can go through and play with this and sort of equalize this. There is now a brand new um, texture painting. Actually, it's not really texture painting. It's a custom painting tool set that now exists with this. So the custom painting tool set is you can now paint in your atlases. All right. So for us actually get the atlas here, how we can do that is uh, pretty simple. So from this part, I can simply click, hold down shift and drop. And this is automatically going to create the atlas or I can, you know, simply select that and get rid of it. Click right here where we have the layer, click on Atlas Cutter. And once we drop the Atlas Cutter right there, I can go ahead and pick on this and drop it directly on top of here. Now, whatever material that you're working with, you can simply load that there and you can start using it. Because the cool thing here is, uh, with this done, you can now go back to the Atlas Cutter and you will notice you have a custom mask. Now with this custom mask, you can easily paint across within your 2D view things that you want. If you already have a custom mask, you can throw that here. If you don't have one, you can click right here to actually get painting. And you now notice that you have a couple of features here which you can work with. So right now I'm using the XP Pen 22E Pro and you would notice that if I select this, I can you know play with the brush size. And with this brush size in mind, I can now go ahead and start painting where I would like these things to scatter. Right now you can see that on the viewport. So I can do this and I can just simply scatter things around where I would like them to be. And this is very interesting because in most cases, when you try to use what you have here to play with what and what you want, you might not really get exactly what you're going for. But with a feature like this, it's just uh, pretty interesting to see that you can add direct where you want things to be. And this is not the only thing that you have from here. Another cool thing that you have from here is, despite the fact that you can paint in your Atlas scatters, let's go ahead and delete that and yep you can also throw in a material directly here and you can start working with the material so for example if we simply go ahead and get something like the mod for example and throw the mod directly in here you would notice that because we're using the height blend automatically this has actually fit in right but what if we want to you know paint these things by ourselves 
How we can do that is now you would notice we have a brand new custom mask blend. And once I go ahead and click that, I can actually start making some changes. The same feature that we have before, we have it right here. So if I click right here, I can start making those paintings, but you can now notice that it's happening directly on top. But instead of us having this on top, I can now go through and go over to where we have the use height information. And now I can easily paint things where I would like them to be. And because what we're working with is a seamless tool, you can notice that wherever I paint this stuff to be, it is actually going to exist around and exactly within that place. So this is very interesting for anyone who would want to, you know, make some uh, cool looking stuff by, or maybe create some very interesting materials directly here in Alchemist. It's very interesting to see that this is getting, you know, as much cool stuff as we would like it to get. And on the other hand, once you're done, you can simply go over to the advanced parameter and recompute both your ambient occlusion and maybe recompute your normal before you proceed to export. For the most part, I think just recomputing the ambient occlusion actually does it. And if you want to display the blending for the mask, you can also do that. And this is basically all about it so i would like to know what you guys think about this this is a very cool update i love the whole idea of the ai image to material that is being powered by nvidia and also this is very interesting to see that now you can offload a lot of tasks from your cpu over to your gpu and have very interesting results at the end of the day so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to know more about substance alchemist we'll have a whole lot of videos we've done about it in the description so that you can take a look at that and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace